I am Dr. Harsh Mahajan. I am uh, the founder and chief radiologist of Mahajan Imaging and uh, am currently speaking from my center uh, at Hoska St. Clair in New Delhi. Breast cancer, as we all know, has become a scourge. There is actually a very rapid increase in uh, incidence of breast, breast cancer, especially in the urban population with the changing lifestyle, with uh, 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 girls getting married later in life, with breastfeeding not any longer being a norm, and also because of the pollution and so many other environmental factors, we find that breast cancer is nearly two and a half times more prevalent in cities than in the urban areas. Now, what can we do to try to prevent this or try to catch it as early as is possible? Now, breast self-examination is a very simple tool which is there with a lady. You need to actually learn how to examine your breast and do it on a monthly basis so that you're able to feel any lumps, see any change in shape or texture or size and then alert a physician or a surgeon who would then do a clinical breast examination. For ladies above 40 years of age, uh, X-ray mammography is one of the recommended tools to pick up non-palpable breast cancer. This should be done once every two years till the age of 70 years and this does help in saving lives as it picks up breast cancer early. We all are aware that if we pick up cancer at an early stage it can be cured. Unfortunately in many parts of the world including India we pick up cancer at a much later age at a much later stage because of which treatment is very complicated, it's very complex and also the results are much poorer than when it's picked up early. So, one, we need to recognize this and then for ladies who have had breast cancer in their families, either in, on the mother's side, the father's side, in their aunts, siblings, they need to be much more careful and probably need to start self-rest examination much earlier than those at average risk for developing breast cancer. This is not to say that breast cancer only develops in those ladies who have family history. 90% of cases develop sporadically in those who do not have family history of breast cancer. But I want to emphasize the point that those who have family history need to be much more careful. Then for the medical fraternity at large, I would say that we need to educate the masses by creating uh, uh, awareness through uh, healthcare programs, through holding camps, through holding lectures, uh, through the media, that we need to actually try to find this as early as possible and that in case someone suspects a lump in the breast, a lady feels that there is something wrong, she should not hesitate, there should be no taboos and that she should immediately contact her family doctor, gynecologist, physician or surgeon so that it can be taken to the logical conclusion. Also, for screening mammography and X-ray mammography, ultrasound now has become a part and parcel of the examination process and we end up doing ultrasound as a complementary examination in nearly 80% of those who have an X-ray examination, especially in those ladies who have dense breasts, in those who uh, have equivocal lesions, we are not sure whether there is abnormality or not ultrasound can be a very important adjunct examination and ultrasound is also used for 
guidance for biopsies when we find a lesion or a tumor or a mass in the breast. I think the government is doing uh, its very best to spread awareness about the need for detecting cancer early. I feel there is need to actually formulate a plan, a formal plan, a program for breast cancer because this is really increasing in the urban areas. And if the government also takes a lead in creating awareness amongst the masses through the media as well as through focused discussions uh, with the uh, uh, in, uh, relevant physicians as well as uh, NGOs and society at large, it can go a long way in picking up the disease early. Whether there should be a screening program or not, is uh, whether we can even afford to do that is a question open for the government and the experts in the field of, of uh, breast uh, cancer detection, uh, treatment and surgery. But definitely the need for self-breast examination and the need for educating ladies about self-breast examination is very, very important because it doesn't cost anything. And even at the peripheral level, at the primary healthcare level, the midwives as well as the other workers there can be taught how to do this examination so that it can be escalated to the next level in case a breast lump is found. So in the end, I'd like to say that even though cancer is increasing, we must remember that the tools for diagnosing it early are also increasing. Technology is getting better and better. The uh, side effects of medicines are getting lesser. And even in a country like India with its uh, resource crunch, there is a lot that is happening. And so if we detect it, today we have the tools to treat it. And the earlier we detect, the better the outcomes. And uh, we need to remember that if it's picked up in stage one or two, then one can live a normal, healthy life.